if they did bring Ben Solo yeah. back, is it cheap to bring him back in a novel or a comic? I mean, you can make an argument that it, it probably would maybe feel cheap to, to a certain degree where... You know, why didn't you just have that in the movie? Why didn't you just have him, like, at least at least show him, like you're saying, James, like, a force ghost at the end? Why not have done that? And then maybe that could have showed, you know, continued on in a book or comic or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I, 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 I think it would be a little cheap. But again, I just don't, I just don't see Adam, like, coming back. I mean, unless he does, like, a Harrison Ford and is just like, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll do it just for one time and... Uh, or in Harrison Ford's uh, case twice, <laughs> but he. <laughs> but I just feel like, yeah, I, I just wish, like you're saying, it's a choice. They made that choice to have that character um, become one with the Force at that time. I mean, like you and I, and I do agree with you where, where, like it, it was there, like that. That was kind of the road they were heading down with his character. So I mean, was I in total shock? No, but like it did hurt a little bit cuz I was just like, man, we only got like 15 minutes of yeah. this character of Ben Solo. I mean, you know, we got all of Kylo Ren and you could you could say like within that he was Ben Solo at times. Like maybe when he was talking to Rey that was more Ben than Kylo. But then, you know, we get like 15 minutes of this guy and he doesn't talk. Like he says ow. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so I mean, like yeah, I I think it would cheapen it, but I before it though, like, hey, just at least at least do that, at least continue his story in some capacity for sure. Andrew, uh, I think well, first of all, I think you hit the nail on the head, Lauren. Where he's, you know, we're getting whether we want it or not. I personally want it, but we are getting comics and novels that take place telling the after story of Ray and Finn and everybody. Like that's gonna happen someday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a Force Ghost Ben is kind of inevitable uh, in those comics. It would be kind of crazy not to put him in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, you may, and I'm going to echo the the heart of the comments section right now, uh, you may <laughs> think that we won't see Kylo in live action as Adam Driver again, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Andrew. You haven't, <laughs> seen, you haven't seen that undercover, the undercover boss when he says, that, so... Just to run you through it, Andrews. Well, he says, "Do you think Ray will take Kylo Ren's hand if he asks again?" And one of the <laughs> one of the workers says, "Well, who cares?" And he just walks up and goes, "I do, I do." Oh my god! Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, that's hilarious. Yeah, it definitely definitely happened for me. Look, I I agree. I don't. I, I see. When Harrison Ford comes back, I think that leaves the door open. And Adam Driver clearly loved playing the character. And I think he said in an interview he would be willing to come back. But you say things to say things. I think I think all actors have done right. that um, uh, from time to time. And yeah. I, I just think, and I agree, he will. How do you not put a Force Ghost in a comic or, or a novelization at some point? I just think if that's where his character ends up, if he becomes a Force Ghost and he's in a book that 17 people read... What's the point? Right. Like, what's the point? He had yeah. like, if if Ben Solo is any more than what that movie left us with, then you got to put him in an, another movie. Hey, scumbags! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our video. As always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rebel Scum Podcast, for all the latest videos.